talk about the fields and the table command. They are both valuable tools to help you be able to display your uh, your Splunk data in a much more presentable method uh, manner. And often they're used interchangeably, but there is a slight difference. Uh, and I'm gonna, the big thing I'd emphasize is to pay attention to that minor difference, it will have performance impact on what you do. But the general principle behind a fields or a t uh, table command is we're gonna go grab our data here. We're gonna grab the lamecom data. And if we go grab the first 10 of them, if we look at this, we'll see that we've got the raw logs coming back, we've got the interesting fields, and all that's kind of important to see, but it's not really great presentation-wise, and it's hard to see what you're looking for. I want to see, I don't need all of these fields, so I can use something like this fields, I can use a plus or a minus. Plus is implicit, so you don't need to actually put the plus in there, but you do need to put the minus if you want to get rid of it. So I'm going to start with the plus command. Plus says I want to include these fields. So I'm going to go source IP and destination IP. And when I'm done, you'll notice the interesting fields has changed. I just have those two fields back. We still have all of this over here, and that's because this is actually the underscore raw field. And so you won't, you didn't actually, it doesn't disappear the underscore fields. It only takes um, the non underscore fields. Let's do another one here. If I go put this back, I'm gonna go minus, I'm gonna take the fields off first, get back our nice interesting fields, and I see app. I want the app to go away. So I'm going to go fields minus app. If I do that, you'll notice that it is now gone. It's over here, but again, that's because that's written in raw. And so let me show you how that works in raw by including this last little piece. I'm going to go source IP, destination IP. And if I do that, I get back a nice little list. I'm now, this is where the table command comes in. You should do... When you want to include and exclude fields, you could actually just remove the fields altogether and just go straight to a table. But if for some reason you're going to do some manipulation, you're going to do some more stuff down here, it's highly recommended that you don't run the table command until it's pretty much the last line of what you're doing. So that's really the big difference there. They'll do very similar things, but fields doesn't change the way that Splunk handles the stuff. It's not a transformative command, whereas table actually does. So you'll there's a little uh, under the hood, you'll see performance improvement. If you use fields at the beginning of your Splunk commands and at the very end, use one table command to put out your column stuff. Now I want to show, I mentioned that we kept seeing raw, raw there. If I put underscore raw, it'll show up. Now I want to show this. If I remove dest IP on the other hand, and I run this table command, we'll get a nice big blank dest IP because it got rid of everything. This fit, But these underscore commands still stick around. So just be aware of that, that the underscore raw is gone, is still here but you can exclude out the actual fields. So that's the general principle behind fields and table. I hope that makes sense, and I hope this helps you on your journey from becoming a lame analyst to becoming a Splunk Ninja.